Welcome to this video from the McCoy Publishing Library. I'm Steve McCall. Today we're taking a look at a revised classic from the McCoy Library, The Master's Book of Short Speeches, second edition by Walter E. Willits, edited by Gregory R. McCarney and published by McCoy in 2018. The Master's Book of Short Speeches is a collaboration by two craftsmen who served in their respective lodges 50 years apart. The original author, Walter E. Willits, was a little-known New York Mason who, op who penned the first edition in 1956 in what was the heyday of American Freemasonry. Willits was a member of Anglo-Saxon Lodge 137 F and AM in Brooklyn. He was born in 1924 and died in 1992 at the relatively young age of 68. But of his life and Masonic career, little else is known. Curiously, for a Masonic author, author, he held no office in the Lodge, nor in the Grand Lodge, and as far as can be determined, he was an everyday craft Mason. The editor, Greg McCarney, is a past master twice of Midlothian Lodge 211 in Virginia. In the course of researching Masonic books, he came upon Brother Willett's first edition and was immediately inspired to update it for the 21st century audience. In the editor's note to this book, Brother McCarney writes, quote, then as now, the ability to shoot from the hip in front of a large group of people is a talent not shared by all. When he wrote the first edition, Willits was responding to, need, uh, to a need felt by many Masons who were uncomfortable making remarks off the cuff. The Master's Book of Short Speeches answered the call of many tongue-tied worshipful masters and served as a ready reference for any man seated in the Oriental chair. Things are no different today. In any number of circumstances, the Master finds himself in situations where a few well-spoken words are needed. And if he is without the gift of gab, the prospect of selecting and delivering just the right remarks can cause endless frustration. This volume is edited and expanded collection for a modern lodge officers that still follows the author's original intent, a collection of short speeches printed in a book pocket size volume that may instantly be referenced, adapted to the situation and used on a very short notice." Unquote. The result is the master's book of short speeches designed to fit in the pocket or be carried in your apron case, which is fully updated and modernized edition by Brother Willett's original volume. Although we don't know why Brother Willett's chose to write the first edition, we can surmise that he probably put pen to paper after watching tongue-tied masters struggle with a few ill-chosen words. He decided to put together a handbook to help a brother out. The result, along with Brother McCartney's edits and updates, is this invaluable little book. As Worshipful Master, you are the face of your lodge, and there will be numerous times in which you will be needed to address a distinguished guest, a visitor, a group, or the, large, the lodge as whole. Whether in a tiled event or before the public, preparing a long speech is not always plausible, and in most cases, it's really not, not necessary. The Master's Book of Short Speeches is specifically de designed to help you in making those impromptu speech speeches. The book is not written to be read from cover to cover. Instead, the extensive table of contents is laid out so you can spot the topic you need quickly and easily flip to it. The book is organized in seven subjects, handling such things as remarks at installation and other events where the master is invariably required to make some remarks not in the ritual, to brief addresses to be given at degree work, to welcomes and thank yous and even some off the cuff remarks when you look around and everyone's looking at you and expecting a speech. Even for those masters who do have the gift of gab, a little handbook like this can be the perfect insurance policy if you suddenly find the spotlight shining on you with little or no time to, to prepare. For instance, you walk into lodge and you find that there are a lot of visiting brethren for tonight's third degree. You hadn't anticipated any visitors at all. Now you're distracted before the degree, trying to figure out what you're gonna to say to them instead of concentrating on the work. Not to worry. If you flip to page 22, we've got you covered with two remarks you can recite verbatim or modify them into something more customized. Here's the example. 
Option one, the lodge is indeed honored to welcome so many visitors this evening. It's always a pleasure to extend the hand of fellowship to our guests and particularly so when the work of the evening is the presentation of the degree of the Master Mason. The third degree, representing the crossing of the threshold from candidacy to full membership, is one of the most inspiring experiences Freemasonry offers. A man may rise to great heights in our ancient craft. He may have bestowed upon him many honors, but always on looking back over his progress, he will recall that never to be forgotten night when he was raised to the, sub, sub, the sublime degree of Master Mason. No thrill can even ever replace the acceptance into our great fraternity, which accompanies this degree, no matter how high or far a brother may travel. It gives me great pleasure to welcome so many friends who have come out this evening to relive that momentous occasion with our new brethren. Or here's option two. Tonight we join together, brethren of our lodge and members of other lodges, to perform one of the most thrilling tasks of masonry, that of welcoming into our midst a new brother by conferring upon him the sublime degree of Master Mason. The turnout tonight is a tribute both to the importance of the degree and your own continuing devotion to the principles of the fraternity. For those about to knock on the outer door, this is the most important evening of their Masonic careers. I invite you to join with us in making the work of the evening an impressive and stirring experience. The Master's Book of Short Speeches is a perfect companion for the new master just coming into the Oriental Chair or the accomplished past master who is back again for his second, third, or fourth or fifth journey to the East. At 77 pages, the master's book of short speeches anticipates all those occasions where the master will want to say a few well-chosen words, from welcoming a Grand Lodge officers or district deputies to special events at the lodge, like advance night or past master's night where more is required than a few simple, hey, thanks for being here. Also included are prepared remarks for when you represent your lodge at other events with say a pendant bodies or you, where you'll be often introduced and it's handy to have a few words to suit the occasion, whether an informal all Masonic event or when you're called up from the sidelines at an Eastern Star meeting. And with this little book in your pocket, you'll never be at a loss for words. 